Thank you. That concludes the debate on International Women's Day 2023, Embrace Equity. It is now time to move on to the next item of business, which is consideration of business motion 8150 in the name of George Adam on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau setting out a business programme. And I call on George Adam to move the motion. Moved, President Officer. Thank you, Minister. I call on Douglas Lumsden to speak to and move Amendment 8150.1. Thank you, President Officer. My amendment seeks to insert ministerial statements into next week's business. The first statement we are looking for is on the disastrous deposit return scheme. That this is turning into a complete farce, with most of the producers not signed up to the scheme and the Minister unable to answer basic questions in this chamber yesterday. The SNP leadership hopefuls have cast doubt on this scheme, and it is only right the Minister gives us an update. The next statement is on the ferry fiasco. At the Finance Committee yesterday, the Minister was unable to answer what the total cost of the 801 and 802 would be, and there are now fresh doubts on the timescales. Our island communities deserve better, and they deserve to be updated. The final statement we are looking for is on the funding U-turn for our Sistema projects across Scotland. Mm, yeah. President Officer, last Wednesday I asked the Minister Neil Gray to step in and save Big Noise Torrey. He told me, this is an issue for our local authorities to determine. It is not for MSPs or government ministers to intervene in local government decisions. Less than 48 hours later, the government performed a screeching U-turn and announced funding for the two big noise projects that were axed by the SNP administrations in Dundee and Aberdeen. This lifeline is, of course, welcome, but questions remain. Let's hear Mr Lumsden. Thank you. Let's hear Quest Mr Lumsden. Thank you, President Officer. Questions remain, and this is why we are looking for a ministerial statement to be added to the business programme. Questions like, is this a one-year reprieve? Will the big noise projects that are still being funded by other local authorities now be funded by this devolved absolutely. government instead? Yeah, absolutely. What has changed from the Minister's response last week? And will the government condemn the disgraceful comments made by SNP councillors in Aberdeen regard Sistema? Presiding officer, when I was co-leader of Aberdeen City Council, I had four budgets to set. Four times the council officers offered up big noise Tory as a potential saving, and four times I rejected it because I knew the impact the project has on those who are most vulnerable. But now we have a shambles of an administration run at Aberdeen City Council, led by SNP Councillor Alec Nicholl, shamefully propped up by the Liberal Democrats. And they didn't just defund the project, but they verbally attacked Sistema with a disgusting attack on the good work they do in a shameful attempt to discredit them. Councillor Allard, a former member of this place and someone who is meant to represent Torrey, the ferry community Sistema is supporting, said Sistema had no impact on the people that needed help the most. And he also said, let's be very clear, if we had the money, we wouldn't do it either. The other SNP councillor for Torrey, Councillor Fairfield, said the council could not fund a project that has not delivered expected outcomes. Presiding officer, what an absolute load of mints. The evidence reports are there for councillors Nicol, Allard, Fairfield and Yule to read if they can be bothered Point to. Point of order, Christine Graham. Presiding officer, I seek your guidance. I understand this is an amendment to a parliamentary business motion, but what I'm hearing is a speech about council matters. So I seek your guidance as to which this, whether this is relevant. Uh, thank you, Ms Graham. Mr Lumsden is seeking a statement on these issues. Mr Lumsden. Thank you, President Officer. I have visited Big Noise, Big Noise Tory. I know the good work they do, and they deserve to be treated better than they are at present. The attack by the local SNP was shameful and resulted in the massive SNP spin machine rushing into overdrive and get involved in a panic. No doubt, fearing the impact this betrayal would have on the fortunes of the SNP leader in Westminster who is meant to represent Tory. The response was predictable and pathetic in equal measures. Instead of putting the blame on the SNP councillors who wielded the axe, the blame was to be passed to the Tories in Westminster. Absolutely pathetic. 
Budgets are about choices, and the councils at Dundee and Aberdeen shamefully chose to axe the big noise programmes. So when the SNP Liberal Democrat councillors are looking for someone to blame for libraries closing, swimming pools closing and big noise closing, then they need to take some responsibility and have a look in the mirror because they alone are responsible for the choices and the cuts they make. President officer, Sistema changes lives of our most vulnerable. A brilliant early intervention and prevention programme. I get it and I'm genuinely pleased that the Minister agrees and has stepped in, but questions remain. An addition of a statement on Sistema funding will clear these questions up and allow the devolved government to reaffirm its commitment to Sistema and move the amendment in my name. Thank you, President Officer. Thank you. I call on Neil Bibby to speak to and move Amendment 8150.2. Thank you, President Officer. And I move the amendment to the business motion in my name. On behalf of Scottish Labour, I would like to pay tribute once again to our parliamentary staff for all their hard work in supporting us and ensuring the efficient running of this parliament. Their work is vital and we cannot thank them enough. We all, must also recognise the decision by PCS members in this parliament to take part in industrial action next Wednesday, as is the right, and we should all respect their decision to do so. In light of this industrial action, we propose to move parliamentary business next Wednesday. We would move the agricultural debate to Tuesday and the portfolio questions to Thursday. We are also happy to support additional statements being included on Ferguson's Marine Children's Orchestra funding and the deposit return scheme. This is all business that can easily be done next week on alternative days. The Welsh Senate is moving its business and we should do the same here. The last time the Parliament sat during industrial action, the public gallery was closed. That was regrettable and should not have happened. It has been, it's not been confirmed yet. Uh, by the corporate body whether or not that will happen next Wednesday. If there, though, there is still the possibility of us having to meet without the public gallery being open, which there is, then we should not plan to meet at all unless there is urgent or critical business. Of course, we hope the industrial dispute can be resolved as soon as possible. But until then, we must recognise the importance of our staff to the safe and professional running of the Parliament and its business. Our staff are essential. Any course of act, other course of action here would send a message that they are not. Our staff support us. We should support them where we can. And I move the Labour Amendment. Thank you. I call on George Adam to respond on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau. Thank you, Presiding Officer. We received the request from the Conservative Party late on Monday and have committed to coming back to the Bureau with a response as per standard Bureau process. Now, one of the things with regard, I heard more detail from Mr Lumsden there than I did at Bureau. And as you will agree, Presiding Officer, the whole point of Parliamentary Bureau is to give us a place where we can have these discussions and make these points there and then. None of that came from the Conservative yep. uh, business manager. He mentioned the actual uh, statements. I said we would look into it. Nothing else was said with regards to that. So, Excuse me if I'm slightly cynical about the political opportunism of uh, the Conservatives in this. With regards to Mr Bibby's amendment regarding next week's proposed PCS strike action, I too pay tribute to all the Scottish Parliament staff and the work they do to make our work here better. But as we discussed at Bureau, uh, Parliament will be sitting as normal, subject to the corporate body agreeing their meeting tomorrow. Thank you. The question is that Amendment 8150.1 in the name of Douglas Lumsden, which seeks to amend Business Motion 8150 in the name of George Adam, on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau, setting out a business programme, be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed. Therefore, we will move to a vote and there will be a short suspension to allow members to access digital voting.